about a figure that we created called Jesus Christ. A Roman Catholic Pope, Leo X, born Giovanni di Lorenzo de' Medici, was the Pope of the Catholic Church from 1513 until his death in 1521. In this video, Dr. Ray Hagens, a former Christian pastor of the Church of God in Christ, teaches a powerful message about how fake the Christian religion is. Listen to Dr. Hagens. Y'all check this out. In 1515, what year did I just say? 1515. One more time, what year? 1515. In 1515, yes, sir. Pope Leo X, right. write it down, don't take my word for it. Pope Leo X in the year 1515 said these words. I quote him. What profit? Hath not this fable of Christ yes, brought to us? Yes. End of quote. Yes. Now, allow me to transliterate that. All right. Here's what the man said. Look at how much money we've made yes. from this tale about a figure that we created called Jesus Christ. Here we see one of the most powerful popes in the history of the Christian church confessing the truth. Pope Leo X came from the prominent Medici family of Florence, which played a significant role in the Italian Renaissance. Pope Leo X was known for his patronage of the arts, his luxurious lifestyle, and his involvement in political affairs. Dr. Ray Hagens, who is no more a Christian, is now a CEO, chief elder and spiritual leader of the African village in St. Louis. One of the most famous quotes attributed to Pope Leo X is, Since God has given us the papacy, let us enjoy it. This statement is often cited to highlight his worldly and indulgent approach to his position as the leader of the Catholic Church. Dr. Ray Hagen who has been critical of certain aspects of Christianity. He is known for his views on the historical origins of Christianity and its impact on African people. While some people may perceive him as being against the Christian religion, it is important to note that his criticisms are primarily focused on specific doctrines, historical context, and the role of Christianity in the African diaspora. You see, the problem is that the masses of the people don't know the truth that Pope Leo X knew. Yeah, that's right. The Christian faith was I say it again, was the most influential belief system in the Western world for more than 1,000 years. But guess what, y'all? It ain't as healthy today as it was 100 years ago. Dr. Hagens has critiqued various Christian beliefs and practices, including the portrayal of Jesus as a white figure, the doctrine of original sin, and the role of the Bible in shaping African spirituality. He encourages African Americans to reclaim their ancestral religions and reconnect with their cultural heritage. And among black African people, it ain't as healthy today as it was 10 years ago. The reason for this is people are coming to realize the same truth that Pope Leo X spoke about. And thanks to Liberation Ministries and teachers, black African people are coming face to face with these hard, cold facts at a speed that has to be reckoned with. During Pope Leo X's pontificate, the Catholic Church was facing several challenges, both internal and external. The Protestant Reformation was gaining momentum, led by figures like Martin Luther, who criticized the Church's practices and called for reform. The Church was also facing financial difficulty, partly due to the construction of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Pope Leo X, known for his lavish lifestyle and love for the arts, found himself in a delicate situation. He needed to address the church's financial needs while maintaining his luxurious lifestyle and supporting the arts and culture that flourished during the Renaissance. God has 
has revealed to me that the light of right knowledge. I didn't say the light of knowledge. The light of right knowledge is getting brighter and brighter and the level of faith that individuals supposedly had in this fabrication is diminishing because each day the light of right knowledge gets brighter and brighter this is why the demise of the Christian faith is taking place. You see, one of our out-of-state study group coordinators called me the other day and explained to me that people keep expressing their dissatisfaction and how unhappy they are in their church. We heard testimony this morning of a sister who said, I'm, I stopped going to church. You see, people, the program ain't working no more. The quote reflects a perception of Pope Leo X as a pope more interested in worldly affairs and the pleasures of life than in spiritual matters. Critics argue that this quote encapsulates the disconnect between the papacy and the spiritual needs of the faithful, contributing to the growing discontent that fueled the Reformation. Like many historical figures, he was a complex individual influenced by the political and social dynamics of his time. Pope Leo X's famous quote has become emblematic of the challenges faced by the Catholic Church during a period of immense change and criticism. It serves as a reminder of the importance of spiritual leadership, the responsibility of the church, and the need for continuous reform and adaptation to the needs of the faithful.